What's up guys, it's Bones, and I'm gonna go to my first pro sporting event today. So let's roll that intro so I can tell you guys what I'm up to. What's happening guys? I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing pretty good. The weather is here in Fargo and it's probably gorgeous other parts of the nation, but not here. It's April and we're still getting dumped on with snow and it's cold still. So all that aside, I'm doing great otherwise. I just reached 100 subscribers. So thank you again for all you that, that watch this and, and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. So thanks again. A few friends of mine and I are gonna go to Minneapolis to watch a Timberwolves game. Go Wolves. They are playing the Utah Jazz today, which ironically enough was a John Stockton fan back in the day. So when it comes to sporting stuff, I'm not like a die-hard like sports fan. Uh, I do appreciate, and I did play like basketball growing up as a kid, and I love golf and uh, and all like you know board sports and things of that nature. But in all my years, I've never been to a pro sporting event. Well, I take that back. I did go to one here in Fargo. It was an exhibition game. It wasn't even the Timberwolves. It was like it was like the Pacers versus somebody here at the Fargo Dome. And a client that I had at the time had a suite there, and so he took me and we went and watched the game. And it was a good time, but I, I really didn't get a great full experience of what goes on at NBA games. So my buddy Jeremy and I, who you've seen in plenty of videos, him and I are gonna leave Fargo today, and we're going to drive to Mayer, Minnesota, which is about 30 miles outside the city where. I got a couple friends of mine that we're gonna pick up. So we're gonna pop in one vehicle, go to the Minneapolis from there, we're gonna spend the night, watch the game, get some food, drinks, all that fun stuff. So it's gonna be a quick trip, it's not like super long. We're just going down there for the day and to spend one night and then wake up in the morning, probably grab some breakfast, head back home. Probably be gone like 30 some hours. So just a quick one, you know, half the time just on the road because it is about a three to four hour ride down to Minneapolis from Fargo. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. What do you say we get on the road, head down to Minneapolis, go watch some NBA and have a great weekend. Let's do this. It's April 1st today here in Fargo. Look at this beautiful weather we're having here. It's about negative 10 wind chill and uh, sunny. April Fools, I wish I was joking, but it really is. So I made it to Clearwater. This place has got the craziest truck stop, like big ass bakery with all these ginormous like donuts and pastries and like, it's kind of like a pivotal spot whenever we take trips to go to Minneapolis. Finished filling up gas here and I'll show you guys what that's all about. Like donuts the size of your head in here. It's insane. They're massive. They're big donuts. Jeremy's a big guy though. He can handle it. All of us. It's like, I mean, these things are literally the size of your head. It's so big. I don't know if you guys remember Jones Soda, but it was a, a pretty popular thing back in the day. Every photo on top of the Jones Soda was different. There was never two alike. From what I remember correctly, I may be wrong, but at least growing up, that's what I remember. And they always had weird sayings underneath the caps. It's very, uh, like, hip thing back in, like, the 90s. Back on the road again, uh, Jeremy got a wild berry fritter. Nobody knows what wild berry is. So it was a uh, research and development. You gotta do it, it's for science. Right? When all else fails, you gotta do it for science. He has a big hand, he's a big dude. And this thing is, that's a huge pastry right there. That is, yeah. I mean, it looks it looks like a shriveled up brain. Do you have one of those uh, old timey compact discs in your car? There is actually one in there. Well, goddamn. There's a comparison of, of a CD. Maybe you guys remember those things growing up. They had music on them. They cost you a lot of money, and you, now they're probably sitting in a box somewhere. Yeah. Coaster. Right? Decent. That's what you need. Was it worth it? Mm. Just got to uh, Mike and Brianna's place here in Mayer, Minnesota. Love these guys. Great dudes. There's Jeremy. I can vouch. Let's do this. Let's see if they're home, first of all. Oh, hey guys. How's it going today? Hey, buddy. Been a lot. Mm-hmm. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you too, How's man. the trip? 
It was really good. The drive was fine, everything was golden. You guys want some bananas? This thing's harder than the rock from Gibraltar. What? Decent. Does this guy party? It's gonna be a pandemonium. Well, it's time to start drinking. Cheers, cheers guys. Cheers. Hey guys, all right. Go down. Oh. I think you need some of this. I don't want any banana with my <laughs> after Oh, it's just shot. a little guy. Decent. Jeremy loves cinnamon. Oh. All right. That's thicker than Aunt Jemima. Oh, it's a bad, bad decisions. 80 proof, huh? <laughs> Micah's Garage. It's signed by Tom Green. You might have seen him on Freddy Got Fingered. So I'm gonna build another one for Brianna. I think I'm gonna. It's I like hanger. your fucking wall rack, dude. That's, that's, that's a, a nice clever thing. idea. There she is. Yeah, she's retired. She's done, boys. You guys may remember that board from a few vlogs ago. Micah beat the living hell out of that thing. But she's still fully functional. Yeah. Oh, my dad. Mmm. That's oh, really good. Yeah. I was a fan. Now if I had a pot of coffee. So, we're gonna be gone for like, what, maybe 12 hours, something like that. Most of us brought like a backpack. That's what Micah brings. Better make sure I have everything. Yeah. Got shoes, some shirts in case it gets warm. Oh, plenty of underwear. Beach type of shirt, just in case the hot tub's real nice over there. Got a dress belt in case uh, we go to church tomorrow. What if they got a sweet exercising facility? I got that covered. What if we want to go golfing tomorrow? Sure, this thing will be nice. Uh, pajamas? Okay. I'll wear that. And nothing better than, you know what they say about success. First you get the job, then you get the khakis, then you get the chicks. So we made it to downtown Minneapolis and everybody just left me in the vehicle. We got to the hotel entryway and they all bailed out because they had to go to the bathroom so bad. So they're like, Bones, hold down the fort. And I was like, okay, I guess I will from the passenger seat. We're here though, we're ready. We're gonna get all checked in here. See we can go find something to eat, some drinks, so we can get a good shine on before we head into the game. I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring in my, uh, this big camera right here. I got my little smaller camera to bring with. It's a little bit more portable, so uh, yeah. If you guys notice a change in quality, it's because I had to change out a camera for the game and I didn't want to carry this big thing in there because that would be a little bit uh, annoying, so. All right guys, let's get checked in. Let's go find some grub, some drinks. Let's do this. Who parks like this? Give the green geometry. Dude, straight lines on If you got a shitty truck like this, I don't care where you park. Look at this, look at those lines. Fix it. Micah, get in there and fix that. God, it's like amateur hour. Honey, you forgot your- Alright, stay out of the way. Well Hey, you mind remote starting that quick for me? <laughs>
that was a great meal. I had uh, some cherry wine, Angus beef. Gruyere. Gruyere. Good cheese. Some type of crazy cheese with arugula and some jam and some prosciutto. And I didn't ask for a side. I was like, just give me whatever you think is best. And she gave me uh, this mac and cheese they make in there. It had a bunch of different cheeses and breadcrumbs on top of it. It was amazing. Probably one of the best burgers I've ever had. And I really appreciate when you can get a burger cooked to your specific temperature. It is kind of like a like a fun little thing you can get. Like a lot of places you go, you can't do that. So this was a nice change of pace. Now we're going to head back to the hotel, our things we need, and we're gonna head to the game. Let's do it. We made it, we're in. It's actually a lot easier to get in this game than I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna have a couple of Chardonnays. We're gonna have a good time. John Schultz, I'm calling you out for that comment. Thank you. Chill little spot here in uh, uptown Minneapolis. Iron Door. Bartender's cool. All the people hanging out here is pretty rad. You can check it out. You know me, I'm a beer guy. I love beer. But, like, I ate such a big dinner, it was delicious. And I don't regret a single thing about it, but it was so filling. I had to switch to actual liquor, gin and some whiskeys and scotch. That's my go-to uh, cocktails. And I don't want to say this, but sometimes you gotta switch to liquor. Beer is like my lifeblood, but liquor is it's good too when you're so full. So I got ordered a uh, lift, put the wrong address in for uh, pickup. Here we are waiting for this Lyft driver to come pick us up. He had one of the coordinates correct on the address. The other one was completely off. But now it's just funny. We're all got a pretty good shine on, except for one of us, but that person doesn't count. The guys had a couple of Chardonnays. Thanks, John Schultz. Frick off. Was a lot of fun guys I hope you had a great time got to see the game I was fun ate some great food some good drinks had some good friends really can't ask for a better little trip and on that note thanks for watching this video if you haven't already subscribe to my channel smash that like button and until next time 
I'll catch you guys in the next video.